All right guys, in the last chapter I left you with a quick quiz. Remember? I asked you where exactly is Mansi's voice processed before the smart voice assistant replies back? And the right answer is it actually gets sent to a cloud server where the analysis happens and then the smart voice assistant gives you the response. But why does it work like that? Hmm? Well, let's break it down and understand this step by step with the help of Amazon's smart voice assistant Alexa. If you go on Google and search for smart voice assistants, you'll find a bunch of names. But the one that's super popular these days is the Amazon Echo series. Now here's where people sometimes get confused. Alexa is not the gadget, it's the smart AI, the actual voice assistant that listens, understands and talks back to you. The device you talk to, the speaker or display, that's called the Amazon Echo. Your Echo has tiny built-in microphones that are always listening locally for just one thing. The wake word Alexa. Don't worry, it's not recording everything in your room 24 by 7. It only wakes up the moment it hears Alexa. The second you say that, the device starts capturing your voice and sends your request like wake me up at 5 a.m. to Amazon's cloud servers over the internet. That's why Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot is absolutely essential. Without it, Alexa can't process your request. Remember we said in last video, internet is the lifeline for cloud computing. So here's what happens once your voice reaches the cloud. The very first step is something called ASR, Automatic Speech Recognition. Now don't let the name scare you, it's actually super simple. ASR is just the technology that listens to your voice and converts it into text. For example, if you say, Alexa, wake me up at 5 a.m., ASR's job is to turn that exact sentence into written text, wake me up at 5 a.m. In short, think of ASR as the ears and pen of Alexa. It hears what you say and instantly writes it down so the AI can read and understand it. Alright, so once Alexa has converted your voice into text, the next step is called NLU, Natural Language Understanding. This is where Alexa's brain kicks in. NLU doesn't just read the text. It tries to understand the meaning behind your words. For example, if you said, wake me up at 5 a.m., the NLU engine figures out two things, the intent that you want to set an alarm, that's called set alarm intent, and the details or slot values, time is 5 am, action is wake up. In simple terms, ASR is like Alexa writing down your words, but NLU means is like Alexa actually understanding what you mean. All smart voice assistants, whether it's Alexa, Google Assistant or Siri, pretty much work on the same principle. Take Siri and Apple CarPlay for example. What would you like to play? Play G Class by Young Sammy on YouTube Music. Where's G Class on YouTube Music? First, Siri listens and converts your voice into text. That's called ASR, Automatic Speech Recognition. Next, Siri's NLU, Natural Language Understanding, kicks in. It doesn't just see the words, it actually understands your intent. You want to play a song. Let's move on to the next step skills and backend logic. Alexa comes with something called skills. Think of skills like the apps on your phone. Some apps you download like Instagram or Spotify. But some things like your calculator or clock are just built in. You don't need to install them. It's exactly the same with Alexa. When you say, Alexa, wake me up at 5 a.m., Alexa isn't running off to some third-party app. Nope. It already has a built-in alarm skill like its own little clock app. Here's what happens behind the scenes. That alarm skill takes your request, your intent, and sets it up in the system. It creates an entry linked to your account with details like your user ID, the device ID, the time you asked for, 5 a.m., and the type, which is an alarm. This information gets stored in Amazon's alarms and timers back in service. So here's the final step, cloud to device sync. Once the alarm is created in the cloud, that schedule is sent back down to your Echo device. Now your Echo stores this alarm locally, almost like saving it in its own little memory. Why does that matter? Because even if your Wi-Fi suddenly goes down in the middle of the night, your Echo doesn't forget. It already has the alarm job saved, so it will still ring at 5 a.m. sharp, just like you asked. So in simple terms, the cloud sets it up, but your Echo makes sure it actually happens, even without the internet. Let's quickly connect the dots. First, your voice goes into the Echo device, then it shoots up to the cloud where Alexa does its magic. ASR turns your words into text and NLU figures out what you actually mean. 
Next, the alarm service sets everything up and sends it back down to your Echo. Finally, your Echo stores that alarm locally, so when the clock hits 5 a.m., no excuses, even if the internet is down. So in short, you speak, cloud understands, Echo delivers. I hope this gave you a clear picture of how your smart assistant works behind the scenes. And now it's something you'll never forget. That's it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next one.